Hello everybody, I am Mo the Worst, and this is Grime once again. In the last episode, we defeated the dude with the big hand torso who tried to kill me for unexplained reasons. And now I'm not entirely sure where I need to go. But I'm pretty sure it ain't in the place that I'm standing in because standing around will get you nowhere. So I guess we'll just make our way out of here through the way we came in. Perhaps Shirdra will know what I need to do. He seems like the sort of guy that knows a lot of things going on. So that would be the smart place to go to. We also got the ability to just pull myself to different things that these they're usually like these glowing things you see just hovering in the air this pulsating dark cosmic anomaly just hovering there I can just yank myself on over to it perhaps Shirdra will tell me where I could best use this ability hey there's stuff under the elevator I like under elevator things it tastes better when it comes from under the elevator comes with extra flavor all the extra toppings that comes with getting stuck to it when it falls down underneath there lots of living flesh and okay this ain't a big drop Is there anything else ooh that looks like blub mebel yep shard and here is a wall we can bust open and I'm pretty sure this just led us over to the door that we need the unsealer to open. Yep, this is that door. And yeah, I don't have the unsealer. I didn't take it from Handyman Magoo. All I did was kill him and eat his corpse. So, yeah, Sheardra would probably be the guy to go to. Mayhaps he will give me the unsealer. And perhaps we'll find more things under the elevator. The floor directly beneath it looked like something I could drop through. And now that I take a closer look at it, it looks a little thick. Okay, yeah, I can't drop through it, but I can go left. Any other hidden treasures? I got some pillar fragments and just ooh, shiny me, shiny stuff. I like shiny things. Ooh, that's a chest, a celebration chest. Forced to breathe, it prolongs suffocation. Trust not those that want to live. Huh? So you're trying to kill me ain't you yes you are that is definitely hostile behavior and I cannot allow it to go on so are you why are you tunneling around like that are you doing yet yeah, you're doing that thing and I wonder yep haha -ha! that's a cool little trick I can do I can pull the projectile to myself and then use it to and like suck it into my head and launch it at you and now we've got a nerve past right here in the Carbon Palace. That's nice. Real nice. So now, we'll just head back up, tell Sheardra that I went and killed the dude that he probably didn't want me to kill, but I killed him anyway because he was trying to kill me and I can't be killed. I'm me. I need to live. Now what about you? World Pillar Man. Listen. Beyond the barrier lie the doom worshippers, born of the pale sky. Their kind begins forming inside of the sky itself, slowly oozing downwards until fully formed. Disturbed, they sealed themselves off 
Shortly after the establishment of the Carbon Order, ever since the Carbon have been trying to dig the strand out for me and unseal the path, hoping to reunite with their idols on the other side. Well, that didn't really help me at all, but I can at least upgrade my stuff, assuming I got the... I ain't got the mass for it. I got the blub mebble, but not the mass. Worry not, though. I could just eat some unformed torsos. Now that we have the ability to just yank myself around, we can actually explore some of the stuff that's going on up here. Because there are some platforms that can only be reached by self-pulling. And now that we have that ability, we got some new territory to explore right here in the world pillar. Though I don't remember if this is the way of progress or if I'm just finding secrets here. And I'll take that. So, yeah. This looks like about as high as I can get right now. There's nothing to just yank myself on over to. Most unfortunate. Oh boy. That's what happens when you don't grab the ledge like I told you to, and then you conveniently respawn on the ledge that you failed to grab. Hey, there's the blub mebel up here. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. It is bloody and it's metal. Yay! Okay. We can, however, get through this section. Unless... Is this how I got into the world pillar to begin with? It... It might have been. I... Don't... Remember... And I can't seem to yank that platform anywhere. Unless I yank it over to where I am now. Hmm, yes. I fail to see how this helps me. Now, I think there might be a way to go underneath the palace. There did seem to be a place down there. I might have actually gone there and then came to a thing that I couldn't get through because I didn't have my, the ability to just pull myself around. So now that I got that, it might be possible to go making progress in that direction. So let's just go on down, down to Clown Town. And now that I take another look at this thing, it looks like a door that would open up once I hit a switch somewhere down below and allow me to take the elevator even lower. That seems much more likely than just being a platform that I could drop through. Yeah, I came to this thing and I wasn't able to just Pull myself on over. Now, here we go. Now that I can just yank myself side to side, we got nothing to worry about. This is a thing I can go through. And what are you? A ce your celebration hands. What does the celebration set do for me? Uh... It's, it ups my fucking force and strength, so yeah, I'll put that shit on. I'll put it on real good. Yeah, look at me, I'm all ready for celebration, yeah. And now, we'll just make my way on through this place. You're a stabby boy with a pokey needle, and you're fucking stabbing the shit out of me. Cannot allow that, sir. Cannot be allowed, because you're an asshole. 
and assholes don't get to do asshole things. We've been over this. Can I drop down through here? This looks like a, it might be different, but it, apparently it ain't. Oh, I got, I got, I climb up. I climb up in the thing, and it takes me to places. And here we got a blood metal splinter. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean blub metal. That is the appropriate pronunciation. That's blub metal. I hit the wrong button. I'm, I'm a stupid man. Big and dumb and lots of pickaxes. And here we have a formal coda chest. Okay. So, what does that do? Uh, there it is. Fucking dexterity and force goes up with it. That's nice, but I think I'll stick with my uh, celebration stuff. I am one who likes celebrating and come on, that looked like something. Yeah, that was something. Now let's just, come on, quit grabbing ledges that I don't want you grabbing. Let's see what's over here. Perhaps we'll find what we need to unseal that barrier and get on through the, that hand gate that we saw earlier and ooh that is formal coda hands I see you up there floating waiting for me to just yank myself up to you oh I got the whole formal coda set so yeah I think I'll put that on put the whole fucking set on fuck the celebration and all it's shit I got a nice snazzy new suit to wear and I'm going to slather it in the blood of my enemies cause that's just the kind of guy I am would you mind not doing what you just did up oh, you're doing what you just did again and now you're gonna try and hit me but I'm gonna eat you because fuck you you just look so edible and I can't allow that to go unpunished and I see you there and now you're dead kinda wanted to eat him too but beggars can't be choosers you exploded and now uh why you do the choppy thing that can't be parried there you go yummy yummy you taste like food so where's this taking me down down deep down below the bottom of the sea that's where we're going isn't it Ooh, a real big piece of blub mebble it's a chunk a chunky chunk that is and I do like the chunky chunks. Oh, how chunky they be. And another piece of blub mebel. And you can take that. And ah, I'm doing that thing instead of the thing that I can eat you for. So now you're eating. That's good. I need the sustenance that comes from devouring my enemies and I think I just looped around yes I did so instead of climbing up that way we're going down here through there and you're gonna explode over there and this is nothing a whole lot of nothing why you give me nothing I give you everything and you give me nothing! Ooh boy! Hiding behind the fucking thing on me. I think not, and you are very welcome to try that again, except you ain't trying it again because you're a prick and I wanna eat you! I gotta get my fucking breath back so I can keep on healing myself. And that's why I'm eating ya. It restores the breath that I use to heal myself. And I can just dash on through there. So, further down, I say. That is what I say. And you're dead. Good for you. Stop being alive. You suck. So, this section looks almost like the servant's path. It might be part of a servant's path that takes me to where I need to go. But who can say for sure? I dropped a thing on your head. 
And now, your ass is dead. So there. Suck on that, mister. And you... Oh, come on now. Ah, uh, why you got the fucking shield on your back? That's annoying. And I just... Oop, I got stabbed. Stabbed in the foot. It went all the way up into my brain. And you, dudes, you fucking explode upon death. That's good to know. And there, you get pulled, and now you fall down, and you go... Oh, uh, wait, you didn't go boom? Why did you not boom? I expected a earth-shattering kaboom. But it's fine. I don't need the earth to explode. I do, however, need this guy to stop living. And apparently he awaits something. Take that, mister. There we go. All right, you're down. What did you drop for me? Living flesh. And we'll just smash that thing, because we don't need it. Ah, you fucking floor spears! Why? Why do you have such speary floors? Here's another one of you. Now, yep, I'm coming over here now. There, you got exploded, and I'm going to knock this thing down on top of you. There you go. Give me that little bit of breath. I'm running low on health, and that ain't good for me. Being close to death ain't good for me, specifically because I happen to like living. Don't you fucking aim that thing so perfectly. And, oh my god, frame rate, please, for the love of shit, don't do what you just did. There we go. More of y'all getting all busted up, and I'm still not having enough of that breath to go healing myself, even though I desperately need to heal myself. But I still have the ability that lets me just get a little health back after I wail on a dude after a successful parry. It ain't it ain't a huge amount of health, but I'll take it. I can I'll take what I can get and I'll have to do a better job of not getting smacked by this dude. And is that a spear floor thing? No, I don't think it is. All right. There we go. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I thought I just failed my death. But apparently I thought wrong, and it's never been... Never felt so good to be wrong. But now where do I go? Uh-oh. Well, clearly I don't do what I just did. Because that shit done got me hurt. Only a little bit. I see that floor spear hole. Now... Oh, he is. Alright. Okay, this looks important. And that looks like a dude who wants me dead. I'm not letting you explode on me. And, ooh, an urn of volatile eyes. Hold on a moment. Do I have any consumable items that... My next absorb grants more breath. I'm hoping for something that just gives me breath flat out so I can heal myself. Or something that just straight up heals me. I probably don't have anything like that. And... Yeah, that ups my fucking stamina regen. All my force, which is stamina. I can throw ribs at people. Uh, no. No items to restore my Healy Juice on the fly. But they got stuff that instantly restores your stamina. Which automatically refills on its own and I constantly forget about that stuff which would probably be very helpful in certain situations but I never re remembering it but whatever the case may be, I'm all out of time for this episode so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.